Revelation of a king long gone The highest enlightened nigga sitting on top of the sun And they just Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Danny, aka King Bub, and I am your coach of the one and only Munchlaxer United, and we are part of this PUBL League. It's the first season, and I'm very proud to be a part of it. I'm very proud to have my team be a part of it, and there's a lot of cool people here, so I'm really excited for this, for this league, and yeah, so this is pretty much this video talking about the draft that we got this for this league and I'm very very happy with this draft. I was I was looking to draft three very important mods I just wanted to build my team around and I got all three of them so I'm pretty happy with that. I did get sniped for a few picks but hey it happens you just gotta adjust and you gotta keep going so <clears throat> before we get into the draft picks which right now you're actually not even seeing anything I'm gonna show you on showdown you know like the draft you know how I do it I did it like that last time so I'll show that but right now my crest is there um because if I want it to be a surprise, I want to show you each mom one by one as a surprise. So you guys know my the process I was thinking while I was going through the draft and what I picked. So before we get into the draft, make sure you guys leave a like for the new squad. And um, of course, leave a like for Munchlax the United. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So let's get into this. So the very first pick, this is the, mo the mom that I just wanted the whole time. As soon as I came into this draft, even before the draft, I was like, I want this mom. I want to try it. It's so good. Um, if you let it set up, it's, it can pretty much win the whole game. So, um, I went with our boy, or girl, I don't know if that's a gender, but <laughs> we, I went with Manaphy. So, ciao, our Manaphy. Uh, I'm very, very excited. Like I said, this is a pick I wanted. I've been thinking about getting it even before we started drafting. I already wanted it. This is, I was like, I want to build a team around this and the two other moms. And I got the pick, so I was surprised. I think I was a seventh seed. In the draft, yeah, I was the no, no, I wasn't seven. Actually, I was the thirteenth. So that's that's close to the end. So I was actually surprised Manaphy was even there that long because usually Manaphy goes goes away like in the first ten picks. So I was happy. I was surprised, and I'm happy to have it part of the squad. So you guys know how Manaphy is. Base 100 everything. So it can be bulky. It can be special bulk, physical bulk, or just offensive. And it's hard to tell. Usually, of course, it's gonna be a special offensive mod because that's where he gets all his moves. But still, um, you never know. It might, I might bring a random physical set one week with like knockoff or something, and it, like I don't know, that'll surprise things. So if people don't see stuff coming and they prepare for something else, it can really change the way the way they think, and it could win me the game pretty much. So, Manfi is that type of mod that you could just do a lot of different things with, and of course, he got that tail glow, where is. <clears throat> raises my attack by three, I believe, right? Three stages, whatever. If I can set up a sub where if someone just switches on me and I tell glow and I know I can take a hit and I have a coverage move, it's, it's gonna it's gonna take out. It could wipe out a whole team. Manaphy, if you if you don't prepare for Manaphy, you don't think it's a big threat. I'm gonna take advantage of that because Manaphy is gonna be my win condition in most games and I'm gonna try to win with this thing. So. I'm super excited, it's got great coverage moves like Energy Ball, Dazzling Gleam, making Calm Mind if I just want to become bulkier on the special side. We got Heal Bell, Heal Bell is very important to have. Um, it has the coverage move with Grass Knot and things like that. And uh, Like I said, Energy Ball has Shadow Ball, Signal Beam, could hit Dark types, could hit Psychic types. This thing can hit everything. It has U-Turn, like I said, if I want to play it physical just to mess with someone, then I could play it physical, put a Scarf on it, U-Turn around. And it can do some work. So Manaphy is very, very versatile. And I, I don't know if you guys noticed through all my videos. I am, I like having versatile moms that can do more than one thing. Of course, I have some that, of course, only do one thing, but they do it very well. So, and that's pretty much Manaphy. And talk about a mom that can just do one thing and it does it extremely well. My second pick in the draft. I came up from a snake, so from the snake pick. So you know last person picked and then came back up to me and I'm so happy I got this pick this is the other mom that I wanted so bad that I was just like I want to have this on my team I want to try it out in a draft format I know it's extremely good it can do so much work and it's one of the best offensive Pokemon in the whole game and that is Megalopony so I'm happy I have this thing Megalopony is scary if you don't prepare for it it's so fast it hits so hard it has that scrappy ability so I don't have to care about ghost types I don't have to Worry about you know like let's say a sable eye or something coming and you know I'm always gonna be able to hit those ghost types. I don't have to be afraid of kicking, um, clicking fake out, you know the fake out high jump kick return thing. 
I don't have to worry about that. It's always gonna hit. I do have to worry about how I jump kick because you know people could put protect and stuff and I lose like half my health. But obviously I'm gonna prepare for that. I'm not always gonna be having certain moves, so got gotta prepare for that. But Megalopony, like I said, it's that mon that just does one thing and it does it very well. And that is being extremely fast and hitting extremely hard. You see that base 136 attack and that base 135 speed. So one of the fastest things on the field. I'm very happy to have that scrappy ability. It can do some work. And pretty much, like I said, very straight up sets. You know, you, you I could carry, I could have the Tom path if I want to, like, you know, switch around. So that's the benefit it has. Um, I could encore things. And the straight up set that normally you will see is, like, fake out return, high jump kick, and... I don't know, some coverage move. But it has a lot of things. Obviously, I'm not going to play it special, but it has Heal Bell. I think it gets Wish. It doesn't get Wish. It doesn't get it. Okay, so yeah, it has Heal Bell. I have Agility in case I do want to set up and I know that I'm going to outspeed. I mean, after an Agility, Mega Low Pony is going to outspeed everything. So, yeah. <laughs> so maybe one week I'll bring that. And, yeah, Mega Low Pony. It's just that type of mon. It does one thing, like I said. And that is get kills and be a revenge killer. And I'm very happy to have this thing on my team. And I'm going to try to make it the MVP. The most killed of the league. I'm going to try my best. And I think it can do it. If I can play well, I think it can do it. So, yeah. So next, I wanted to pick something. I was looking for electric types. You guys know I like having my electric types. I was either going to pick Zapdos um, in the UU tier. This is OU, so I forgot to explain the rules. Um... 3 OU mons, 3 UU mons, 3 RU, and then 3 NU and below. So pretty much like the UCL, stuff like that. So standard, you know, nothing crazy. So this was my third OU pick, and I really thought about it. Um, I did want Scizor, because I thought it worked decently well, but I kind of wanted something faster. I know Scizor gets that bullet punch, but you can't, you can't depend on bullet punch at all. So I wanted something fast, and I wanted electric type. So you guys might think I'm gonna talk about someone but I'm gonna talk about someone else so <laughs> we I got thunderous incarnate and this thing is really good if you guys like you guys know in the PUBL in my other league I have thunder theme and it's doing the work for me but this is the other form and it's kind of like it has its better like it has some better things than thunder theory you know they're both really good they both do different things they're both just you know this one's faster so it has that base 111 speed but it's a bit weaker. Um, I think Thunderous Steering has like 140 or 145 special attack, but this one has a 125 and 115, which is still it's not something to like mess around with. It's not like oh, it's not gonna hit hard. It's still gonna hit hard. It's decently fast. Like I said, I wanted something fast, and my team is decently fast and hits hard and bulk, and that's why I really love the team. But it's fast. It can hit hard. Volt switch. I can hit on the physical side. It gets knock off. It gets um U turn just in case. I have ground types or something, and the best thing about Thunder is, is its ability prankster. So I can like, if I know something is scary, I know something that can beat my Mega Lopani that's gonna be faster, it could be Scarfed or anything like that, I could just bring in Thunders and I always know I can get a safe um, Thunder Wave off. Just slow them down, and then that's gonna help out my team. So like I said, I'm really building this team around Manaphy, Mega Lopani, and one other Pokemon that you see in the UU tier. So Prankster Thunders, I just, it just fits so well for me. Um, has that Prankster ability that can really help. I go Prankster Nasty Plot, Prankster Agility, um, Prankster Thunder Wave. So Thunders is very, very scary. It's something that's hard to handle and it's annoying at times because of that Prankster ability. But it's, I'm happy to have it on my team. No one took it out of surprise. And hey, I got it. So I'm happy. So that's Thunders. Um, like I said, it has good coverage moves, things like that. I think it gets um, Dark Pulse. Yeah, so Dark Pulse is good to have. Focus Blast, Flash Can, all that good stuff. It's good to have. It's good to have. It's a good mod. I'm really going to enjoy using this. I enjoy using Thunder Steering in my other league. Well, enjoying because it's still going. Um, and I think this one's going to be even funner to use just because I have Prankster ability. I'm going to annoy some people, you know. <laughs> so, now we finished OU. And, like I said, there's three mods I want in this draft that I should needed to have and this is um going to be my first pick that i just really wanted to have and just base my team around this and i had to get this so luckily i got the wheel pick for the uu tier 
and no one took this, I was surprised, I really thought it might go like first turn. But we get the boy, the god of fire itself, Entei, and I am so happy to have this thing on my team. Um, I probably sniped a few people, I know I sniped someone <laughs> picking Entei, but you guys know, Entei is one of the scariest things. Especially in draft format, even if you prepare for it, coming into a sacred fire is really tough. And this thing has bulk. If you look at its HP, 115 base, base, base HP, it's nothing to play around with. I am not going to be easily taken down in one shot, and I'm still going to be able to hit hard back. So, speed 100. Once again, not slow. 100 is a good speed, not the fastest. Obviously, things outspeed it, but it's a good speed to have. And like I said. Like, if you just look at my four mods, they're extremely fast and bulky right now. Obviously, it's 7 Mega Low Punny. Thunder is not the bulkiest, but um, Manaphy, base 100 speed and bulk. Entei, base 100 speed and can be decently bulky. So, my team was starting to, like, form really well. Entei just completed it. it. Just completed it. You know, it can be a special attacker. Might trick some people around, you know. They might think I'm physical and I'm gonna like surprise them and be special. But obviously, it's better as a physical attacker. And that's like I said, that Sacred Fire is amazing. I can also calm mine. I have Extreme Speed for Priority, which is another great thing to have. That's like two priority things with Thunderous and Megalopony. And like I said, Sacred Fire is... It's a bitch. It's really hard to handle. I hate going up against Entei. I had another league when someone had an Entei and that thing which was so hard to switch into. Sacred Fire, 50% burn, it's just, it's just really, really tough, you know. And, um, it gets Iron Head for fairies, which is also a great thing, because he resists fairy, and I can hit fairies back, so that's something that's really, really good, and Entei is just a beast. It has Stone Edge, it can hit other, um, fire types, it has that coverage to hit other fire types. So, Entei, to me, is, was my top three picks, so it was Manaphy, Megalopony, and Entei. And I got all three of them and I'm super super happy I did because my team is looking really good and I'm really really liking this team. So, that's Entei for you. <laughs> so the next pick I really really wanted was Cresselia. Um, I wanted Cresselia. It's super bulky. I could try to sit up with it and I just want to try. I never tried in a draft league. But I did get sniped. I think I got sniped right after I picked Entei. Someone picked Cresselia. So I couldn't pick Cresselia. So, our next pick... It's, I think it's better in Cresselia, but I just want to try something different, but we are bringing back one of my favorite Pokemon, and you guys know who this is. It's King Blob the Reuniclus, so I have him in the PUBL, I use him in UU all the time, I use him in OU all the time. He's one of my favorite mods, I know how to use this thing left and right. And I love this thing, so bulky. You guys know, you, you guys know the deal, the deal with me and Reuniclus. Best friend, King Blob and King Bub. <laughs> So we got that base 110 HP, super bulky. The defense is not the highest, but the HP helps. I can be decently defensive. I could take some knockouts from the dark, some dark types and stuff. So Arena Clip is nothing to play around with. Um, and that base 125 special attack. So I'm super bulky. I have recovery and recover, and um, I can hit hard. And then with that magic art ability, I I can just neglect stealth rocks, toxic, all that good stuff. That's not gonna affect me. Or I could use the Regenerator and just switch around and gain health and Reuniclus is a great great mon. Very versatile like I said, I love having a versatile team. Obviously he's not slow but I knew I already had enough speed and I just needed something to help Megalopony take um, Psychic types and that's why I picked, well take Psychic and Fighting types because he takes both. Uniclus is a monster, could take both from Megalopony, and that's why I think it well it works so well together. Um, so like I said, Regenerator, I can Calm Mine, I can Trick Room, Energy Ball, all that good stuff. It has so many coverage moves, and I just love this thing to death. It's one of my favorite Pokemons in the whole game, and I'm happy to have it again in the league. So give a like for Uniclus, guys, because you already seen how good he is, and you've seen what he can do. So next, I wanted... It was going to be another Psychic type. I wanted to get Metagross because I wanted to get a Steel type, a good Steel type with priority. But I got sniped, I think like right before I want, right before it was my pick I believe, I'm not sure. I just got sniped and I was like, okay, I gotta find something else. So, my substitute for Metagross was Cobalion. And Cobalion, I've used it in the UU tier and it, it's really, really strong. 
It doesn't hit hard from the from straight off the bat. It has decent bulk, it has great defense, um, good HP and special defense is shit, but hey, can't complain. He has good speed, 108 speed once again. Once again, I'm having really good speed tiers, and that's something I like to play with really good speed tiers. So I'm happy to have Cobalion. It's really fast, and it helps me with that speed tier. So the thing with Cobalion is it has so much potential to set up. With that fighting and steel um, combination of a typing, it has great potential to set up. I can set up a sub, I can just call mine, I have flash cannon stab, iron head stab, close combat. It has really good moves. I have poison jab, just in case I wanna, just for some reason, I need a poison type move. Who knows, you know? He has quick attack and priority also. Um, rock polish, like a setup, you know, become faster and stone it. And I could also set up rock, which is really good. Cobalion can be really defensive. I could play him as a defensive Cobalion, just set up rock. And, you know, it could be very beneficial to the team. And Cobalion, like I said, it's just something that can set up and win you a game. So, I'm very happy to have this thing that steal. That steel um, fighting typing kind of hinders me a little bit because I didn't want to get another weakness to fighting. But you'll see later on, I do get some resistance, a well, few resistance in fighting, so I didn't have to worry about that. You know, I plan, I plan my whole team around everything, all my weaknesses, and I just have to make sure I had everything. So so far, I had my um, water and fire core. I still needed a fire type. I had the mega that I wanted. I have great electric type, great psychic type, and then the steel type. So now. That's finishing off the RU tier, I mean the UU tier, so we got OU and UU and now coming up next is RU. So I'm probably going to cut off the video here so you guys don't see what I'm picking. Like I said, I want to keep it a surprise so you guys can see my my process of thinking. So next, the first mod I wanted was um the one in my head, the one that I was thinking, okay I have to get this. It was Tango, it got sniped. And then I was like, alright, I'm gonna go for a Moongus, even though I already have it in a PUBL, it's a good mod, it works very well on this team, and then I got Snipe. So I was just like, okay, I'm gonna go for a Fairy then. Because a Fairy is something I need right now, and I already got Snipe twice, so I just wanna pick this Fairy, because I know if I don't pick it now, I'm probably gonna get Snipe. So I picked Diancy, and Diancy is very good, it has that quad weakness to steal, but I'll be able to handle it. I obviously have to play smart around it, and Diancy just hits extremely hard, it's pretty pretty bulky. It has that 50 base HP but the defenses are extremely high both defenses and I can also hit physically or def um, specially and that's really good to have. It's really slow but once again I have my speed. I don't have to worry about speed. I already have a lot of fast mods. I don't have to worry about that speed. Now I can just invest in bulk and something that can hit hard and just help out the rest of my team. So a fairy is very important to have. There's very few fairies left. We had, I think, 15 people, so, you know, fairies go by fast, there's probably like 9 good fairies and we have 15 people, so you know it's gonna go by fast. So I had to pick Diancy, I know someone, I know people wanted it, so I had to make sure I got it. And I got it, so, like I said, Diancy can just be extremely bulky, it could set up with Calm Minds, it could hit hard, it has that Diamond Storm, Stab, Earth Power, Moon Blast, of course, you know, it's a fairy. And I have another Heal Beller, which is very good to have, I like having Heal Bellers, because there's times where I just cannot risk having someone burned or paralyzed and they are there to help me out so like I said Moonblast Psy Shock also rock polish that could be a very interesting set I could set up become faster and probably take everything out and also set up rock so Diancy is very useful another um, rock setter and I like that I like to have my rock setters so that's Diancy um, pretty straightforward I think Diancy is just pretty straightforward I could probably do some interesting sets there clear body you know I cannot have my stats lowered or anything which is also beneficial so that's Diancy I have to be careful about that quad weakness to um, steal just have to be careful around that I have to play play my cards right of course that's what this game's about playing your cards right so that's Diancy and next I want to pick a dragon a dragon type I already lost my grass type that I wanted so I had one grass type in mind that I think I could get it. I knew I was going to be able to get it. I didn't think anyone was going to pick it, so I left my grass type as my last pick. So I went for a dragon type, and that is the boy Flygon. I went for Flygon. I wanted a decently good dragon type. Dragons, dragon was not 
that big of a deal to me, but I wanted to have one that can help me out. So he has Defog, which is something very beneficial. Flygon has Defog, but Flygon is also just an extremely good choice scarfer. Um, it can do the work. It can do it can do some work with my team, depending on you know the week. I doubt I'll bring it every week, but like I said, this thing just can really help my team. You know, I I like getting things that can help my team. Um, if I'm very weak to rock one week, then I'll bring it, you know, defog, I can U-turn out, and, you know, just a stab Draco Meteor, and all that good stuff. Well, I probably wouldn't do Draco. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. But that attack is much higher than the special attack. But, like I said, Flygon, very, very, like, these lower tier picks, I'm probably not gonna talk about as much. Because, you know, they, they, have, they have very straightforward sets, they have... They are very helpful. I'm not saying they're not helpful. They're great Pokemon. It's just because they're lower tier doesn't mean they're not good. But the reasons I picked them were very like straightforward. You know, I can't play around with it and stuff. Now I have a good ground type also to hit earthquakes and stuff like that. But yeah, that's our dragon type quad weak to ice. So I have to be careful with that also. I didn't. These are my two quad weaknesses, and I told myself no more quad weaknesses. I don't want any more of that. I don't like having. I don't even like having one quad weakness. Let alone two. But. It's not like they're gonna be coming every week, that's why it didn't matter that much to me. So next, I finally, like I said, I got my grass type last. I knew no one's gonna take this one, so I just left it last. And it's something very interesting to try out, and that is Venusaur, regular Venusaur. So, this thing is still decently bulky. It has that 80 HP and 100 special defense. The defense is not that high. I can still play it physically defensive. It could probably take a few hits and stuff like that never used regular Venusaur, I just saw it and I was like, let me give it a chance. It could probably help me out, it could be beneficial. If it doesn't work out, I'll see what happens, but I think I think it could help me out. That poison and grass typing, very good. I could hit fairies and things like that also. So, Venusaur, like I said, something I've never tried before. He, he gets Earthquake, he gets um, Sleep Powder to put, put things to sleep. He gets Knock Off, which is very beneficial too, knocking off items and things like that. He gets Synthesis, so he can heal himself. And yeah, Venusaur is just something that I was like, why not? Let's try it out. I need a grass type. He could be a good grass type. Who knows? People might not prepare for it thinking he's not good. And yeah, and then he could do some work. He could probably wall a few things. And I hope Venusaur can do some work. I'm really hoping Venusaur can do some work and can help us out for the league. We'll see. We'll see. We got that fire, water, grass core now. And we have that fairy, dragon, steel. So our team is pretty much like built together now. I think I have a fair team, fair team. But now we're going into the NU picks, and this is the this is my number one pick. NU, I wanted this mod. I was like, please let me have this mod. I think I had the wheel pick again, so I was happy. The yeah, I had the wheel pick now coming on to UU. -U, I mean NU. So this mod I had to get. No one got it. So when it came to me, I was super happy, and it is Weezing. Weezing is just an amazing wall. Um, like I said, I wanna try to. I didn't wanna have too many fighting weaknesses. Because some people tend to take advantage of that. So Weezing is there to help. Of course there's that Psychic weakness again. Alongside with Venusaur. But I've, I've, I have good ways to figure that out. Truthfully. So we have Weezing. Weezing is just an amazing defensive wall. I can take on Fairies. You could Destiny Bond. Um, you can Clear Smog to get rid of. Clear Smog and Haze. I'd rather use Haze. But you can get rid of certain things like you know set up users and stuff like that and then we also have memento which is a great move i could just screw someone up like that just completely click on memento weezing's gone i can there i know they're gonna switch and i could just set up so that's a good way to use weezing he gets taunt weezing's all around a very good mom it's very 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 beneficial in a team um he gets he has will o -Wisp also that can really help me out make things weaker and just you know dwindle things down so that's Weezing, like against, very straightforward. He has that, not the highest HP, but his defense is really high, and that's what I'm gonna be using him for. I could play him Assault Vest in one week and things like that, so Weezing, I think, can be a good mod for me, and we'll see how it goes. So next, I noticed I didn't have any Dark types, so there's that one Dark type I just had in mind, and, and you, I was like, I don't need a Dark type that bad, but it'll be nice to have one, and that is um, Shift Tree. So Shift Tree is very, very unique. Not many people really know about Shiftry. Um, he can hit decently hard. I think he can hit decently hard. He, he's not fast, but he's not super slow either. So yeah, just that stab, um, stab Dark Pulse or Knock Off. He also gets Defog, which is also very beneficial for me. And truthfully, there's not much to say about Shiftry. 
he has he has fake out priority and I've seen um Sceptile MC use him in the GBA and he used him pretty well so I've I've learned from that so I can have a few tricks up my sleeve with Shiftry. If it comes one week that I think it can do some work I'm definitely gonna bring it. Um I think Shiftry can can be that random wild card one week that could maybe win me the game. So we'll see what Shiftry can do. Um very standard month, very standard month. You know, and you and you starts getting to the grind, so there's not much to talk about these months. But yeah, that's Shifty for you. And my last pick that I was actually pretty happy having too is another another great way to handle um, fighting types. And that is Dustnor. Dustnor, immune to fighting, and just super bulky. And I picked him over Dustclops because I I just even though Dustclops is bulkier. I wanted, I wanted him to hit harder. Dustclops does not hit hard at all. So, um, Dustnor does hit hard at that base 100 attack. He has not the best HP, but the defenses are great. And he has priority, Shadow Sneak, Will-O-Wisp, and all that good stuff. Like I said, I like having Will-O-Wisp. It dwindles things down, and it makes him weaker for the physical attackers. So that's why I picked this beast right here. So I think he could actually do work. I am thinking about, you know, a few sets I could play with him, and... I, like I said, I don't think I'm going to bring him every week, but he might be beneficial some weeks, so we'll see about that. So that's our last pick in the NU tier, our last pick overall, and I think my squad is looking pretty, pretty strong. I'm loving my squad. It looks a little weird towards the end of the draft, but I, I, I know why I picked them, and I stand by my picks, so that's my squad. Um, I hope you guys like the squad, and I hope you guys are she cheering, cheering us on. <laughs> Because we want to win, of course. Everybody wants to win, but we want to win, and that's what matters. So, <laughs> so make sure you guys leave a like for the squad. Looking like a very solid squad to me, and I'm, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. If you guys are excited, make sure you leave a like. And if you are not part of the Royal Fam yet, hit that sub button so you guys could be part of the Royal Fam. Because we want you here. We want you here. <laughs> so thank you guys once again for watching another of my videos and week one will probably be starting I think like the first week of May because you know schedules my schedule is very busy right now I told the guy I'll only be able to join if we can you know like start in May because that's when school's about to finish for me and I have much more time so that's when it's gonna start we are going up against Elder Sage who's also in the PUBL he's a really good friend of mine he's a really really good battler so I'm a little scared but we're gonna see how it goes we're gonna see how it goes against him so, thank you guys once again, and I will see you guys next time for probably the PUBO battle, and yeah, so peace out guys.